ام عبد ابو الهول ام جاز يا تو ساي هالو ماديزا ام اي اوكي ذاتس اول بيكوز اي دونت توك ات ذا things that I did. I'm a president of everybody. Yeah. Not the sun, not the Damaras, not the Obambos and so on. So I must be neutral yeah. when you are just trying to celebrate sun only. Maybe I'm a sun too, but you are suited me. So enjoy the day. I have been here to watch. I'm going to see how the show is. The hard bushman. worry when they say it's Die harde boesman beteken een trotse boesman, een baie trotse boesman, een activist van land, van mensen rechten en een life coach, uncertified leader. Ik is nog niet, ik heb die graad voor dit niet. Mijn naam is Frans, mijn huis naam is Koekorong A2, Kwaadheid, Doesit. Ons het een baie belangrike groep vergeet onder Abel Gawana, but all the way they came from the Western Cape to witness this historical uh, event. They came from, from a small farm, which was bought for the sun, to display sun culture. They call it Kwatu. Kwatu means, in the language of Tham speaking people, Many, plenty of water. So, what do is the heritage center that represents all the sun from southern Africa? So, it's Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Angola, all those uh, sun groups. So, um, because we represent all those groups, it's important that we come out to community events such as this heritage festival so that we can have current information that we share. Because we are miles away from sun groups, so it is important that we get the information right and current information. We are also an education center where we teach young sun from the Mabia Pachuan in South Africa. Okay. So it's important that we also know where they stay, how far they are and what their circumstances are. So we have already accomplished so many things. Kwatu's uh, official opening was in 2004. So Kwatu is about 20 years. And throughout the 20 years, many sun people have come and go from Kwatu. So the latest, biggest achievement of Kwatu was the Heritage Center that was opened in 2019. So that is a museum that are just for sun people. So Kwatu um, get information about sun collections, objects, and then they share them then with the rest of the sun people. Mm. Okay. So we have a website which is www.quatu.co.za. So if you go on the website, you will find all the information that you need. And then we have a community members that know of Quatu. So there is definitely people in a community that will know of We also have two social media pages, namely a Facebook page and an Instagram page. What two is the name and handle? You can go and view us on social media as well. Oh, Governor Jiriko, oh, 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 I did not expect her to be in our midst, but she is here. She is, and I am not hiding, the initiator of this uh, division marginalized uh, community. So let's give her a marque. Yeah. Yeah. Where I met the first son person, as I was going to school, I think it was. 52, 1952. I passed by this town and by Botswana to go to, you know, we used to escape young people to go and get our studies abroad. And I spent that night in a house of a son lady. But she spoke Tamara. Then we could communicate. 
So I have not met some people for the first time now. I met them already there in 1962, that lady. Now uh, I'm here and I was assigned by President Pohamba, as I said yesterday, to go in because there was a story that a st postman, they said, man has died of hunger in parliament, they said so. So I was assigned to go and find all the sun people in Namibia, wherever they are, and get a report for the president, Ohamba, what's going on with them, where are they, who are they, and all that. Better. It took me three months to do that, as I said yesterday. And when I came to the big, big report about what I found, I think Ohamba said, okay, I read the report, you take care of the people yourself now, because you know a lot about them. That is how I started becoming a patron of the Sun people many years ago. I forgot now when. Yeah. Now I came here to come and find out what's going on. I'm happy that Sun people are now moving forward. We are not going to sit back. We are now going to move from this today's meeting we are having. Next year we are also going to keep doing something. And I want education to be your, your responsibility for the children. I have sent so many kids during my time with the Sun people to school, and I'm doing the same thing with the people in Maheke, Kunene. Uh, uh, you remember the people who have founded mountains? They are almost like the Sun people. But now I have created education for them as well. So I'm going to continue with my job to, continue, to make sure that the Sun children are educated. Back in 1991, uh, I was a student at Okafo High School. The governor was one of my teachers by then. That time, she was a teacher. And uh, I was the only son during that time in that high school. Only son from a farm, from a village. And discrimination, bullying was very high. So I decided to join the other tribe, Nansan tribe, so I could survive the, the, the school environment. And it, it worked really pretty well because I was in the choirs. I, I could sing along with them, although I couldn't uh, pronounce the words or sing along, but I can met my lover like Gabriel Casilla. Oh, he's also singing in Tamara language. Okay, he's also Tamara. So I was so happy. But then one day, after school, we went to sleep. That's why I said tradition and your bloodline 
and who will be the best to the one day is one day that your bloodline will be revealed that you are a pure son or pure whoever. So me and my friend, we went to sleep and uh, as we were sleeping, I don't know whether it was my ancestors or just a normal dream, but I was I start, I start to speak now in my dream and I was talking and talking and this guy, he wake up and he just shake me and say, which kind of language are you speaking now? <laughs> group sitting there, this wouldn't be possible. Please let us give them a round of applause. <laughs> My name is Delilah, and I'm from Ocho. I'm a Hong Kong Sun woman. From Ocho Kunene region, and I'm living in Binduk. I'm one of the organizing committees of this event. Come here, die here with me. 